What's going on, guys? So I got some news for y'all, and it involves a missing bike. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright guys, so I got a little bit of news, good and bad I guess. Uh, as you can see, we are missing a bike. My FZ07 is no longer here. Uh, I sold it. I sold it. So, if I sold it, like, why would you sell the bike, right? Um, well, I'm getting another bike. I'm going to reveal that probably next weekend, hopefully everything goes as it should. Um, what was my reasoning behind it, right? There was some reasons behind it. Um, it needed maintenance. It probably needed about six hundred plus dollars worth of maintenance if I was to get everything that should get done to it uh, completed. So I just decided, you know, um, if I'm going to do that, you know, I had a good bit of miles on. I want to say like over fourteen thousand miles. Might have been up around sixteen thousand. I'm not. A, I'm not one hundred percent sure. Um, I was like, well, let me, let me make a decision here. Do I go ahead and do all of this or do I sell it, get what I can get for it and go in a different direction? What I decided was, um, a couple things. Well, with the Ninja 1000 Z 1000 SX, whatever you want to call it, um, and having an FZ07 slash MT07, Basically, I had two street bikes. I already got a scooter for pretty much dicking around on. Um, but, you know, I was like, well, two street bikes, what's the need for it? Uh, especially, you know, I got panniers, I got luggage now, so I can take extended trips. The, uh, the Ninja is, you know, a sports touring bike. Uh, you can see I put a... Uh, seat on here i'll tell y'all about this a little bit later um so you know it came down to okay what do you want what do you want to do on a motorcycle and there's a segment of motorcycling that i have yet to experience right i'm not going to reveal that yet because that'll kind of give it away a bit um there's a segment of this of this game that i've never experienced and i want to experience uh, I bet it would be a lot of fun, so uh, give it a shot. So I'm going to get a brand new, the bike is brand new, that I'm getting next weekend, uh, 2020. I'm not going to reveal it yet, but I um, looked all around, um, basically the southeast. I couldn't find the bike that I wanted to get. And the one I wanted actually was all the way up in Ohio, about 610 miles from me. So my motorcycle buddy, Alex... Um, he was able to locate the bike that I, that I desired. And actually it's in uh, Greenville, North Carolina. And it'll take me about two and a half, three hours to get up there. I'm um, going to, going to bring it back. And, uh, you know, I had to kind of factor in the cost, right? For me to drive 610 miles, stay in a hotel, gas, you know, food incidentals, you know, stuff like that. I would have spent probably 400 to $500 just getting up there to Ohio to get the bike. So, you know, with the price, ah, price is what it is. Um, if I waited, I probably could have, but um, the bike that I'm trying to get, um, it's very hard to come by in the age of COVID. So um, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to probably spend a couple extra hundred bucks, but if I didn't, it would, it would be no telling when I would be able to get this bike. Anyway, the FZ07, man, amazing bike. It was an amazing bike. I, uh, I learned how to ride a motorcycle on the FZ07. Um, I had a history of a 50cc scooter, and then I had bought the uh, 150 over there, um, which I felt like kind of put me in a good position to um 
to go ahead and get an FZ07. I would not recommend it as a first bike, however. A um, little snatchy. Very snatchy, actually, in first and second gear. Now, mine's a 2016. I don't know if they've upgraded anything in that first or second gear um, since then. But, uh, yeah, it, 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 it can be uh, a little bit startling for a new rider. Um, that and learning how to use a clutch, you know, learning how to shift gears. So, you know, I feel like, you know, as a first bike for somebody, no. Now, if you have any history on scooters or dirt bikes, hey, I say go for it. Absolutely. You sh that should be your first bike. Go ahead and get that 650 class bike as a first bike. But if you don't, um, you know, it can be a little bit alarming. Get, you can get yourself in trouble really quick with it. Um, so, from my knowledge, I'd sold, I sold the FZ07 to a, a new rider for the streets, but the person had an uh, extensive background um, motocross so i think that they, they will be just fine with that bike it, and it's a it's a good bike i i kept i tried to take as good care as i possibly could of it it's never been dropped um you know i guess in the beginning learning how to shift gears and all I probably made a few mistakes but um the bike itself there was it was pretty much uh meant for having that many miles on it it needs a new chain it needs a new chain but um Actually, the sprockets are pretty good still on it. But, you know, I was probably going to have to change out chain sprockets, getting pretty close to that valve adjustment, um, coolant, oil change, which I would have done myself. Um, probably needs new air filters, stuff like that. And that stuff that I didn't, I didn't want to spend money on it when, you know, I had two. That would have put me in a position of having two street bikes and no need for two street bikes. No need for two street bikes. This one, the Ninja, all the power I'd ever want in a motorcycle. I know there's super sports out there, but damn, dude, I've gotten this thing up to like 147 miles an hour. And I didn't like going 147 miles an hour. I know there's bikes that go 189. Dude, that's got plenty of damn power. And when I got up to 147, she still had a lot to go, but I sure as hell didn't. With the, um, so with this also, you know, I can do the touring. I took a trip to uh, the Outer Banks recently, put the bags on, uh, and you know, it, it, it performed awesome. That seat, uh, cover makes the world of difference. I actually bought another one of those online for the new bike. Um, so that should come in on Wednesday. I'm guessing probably next Saturday I'm going to be getting the new bike. So anyway, the touring, the speed, um, that's that bike. The scooter. That is just, you know, I'm going to run to the store. I'm going to do, like, funny things on it, you know, just just to hoot around on. You know, that bike don't go that fast. Um, it actually only got, like, 6,700 miles on that. And I lay down a whole lot of miles every year. It's just the isolation where I live at. I really can't take that on extended trips. So that's going to always have lower miles on it. But that's kind of like my hooligan. Well, might be my hooligan bike. Um, this one is travel and speed. But like I said, there's another segment of this riding that I have yet to experience. So that's why, hence the need for a different bike. Anyway, I will miss Yoko Loco, my FZ07. It was an amazing bike. I had some of the best times of my life on that bike. Um, but, you know, everything comes to an end one day. Uh, I wish I had known I was going to sell it. I actually had the person come and get it from my house while I was on the trip to uh, the Outer Banks uh, a weekend ago. And uh, I wish I had known this is going to be the last time I rode, rode the bike. I actually don't remember the last time I rode it. It had probably been about a month prior three weeks prior i uh, wish i could have said goodbye but <laughs> it's all good man um anyway i'm i'm glad i'm back on youtube um and hopefully i'll be able to bring a whole lot of new content to um the channel with uh new bike oh by the way I got that um battery tender i've got the hook up for that and i actually put one in the trunk of here yesterday so um never had one of those before um should work out good. Anyway, guys, for y'all that have been sticking around, you know, 
Like, where the hell is Mr. Captain Crazy be, man? I, I want to commend y'all because, uh, damn, I don't know if I would have kept uh, subscribed to a channel that hadn't posted a video in like nine, nine plus months. But like I say, man, life's been busy, busy, really busy. Actually, this uh, COVID thing for me and my line of work, I've seen a uptick in business. So more money, new bike. Um, and plus the proceeds I've gotten from the, um, from the, uh, FZ07 will definitely help out. Anyway, um, thank you for watching like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.